we talk about uh, happiness and a lot of our happiness, oh, I'm, not, I'm not supposed to move. So a lot of our happiness is, this, is you know, being controlled by digital means, right? So Facebook or whatever, food or cars, and we just want more of it. We connect everything, fr uh, fridge, uh, I don't know, pets, whatever else we can find, we'll just connect it to computers to make us more happy because humans usually want more, right? If we have something, we want something better or faster, and it's good, it's making us more happy, so it must be good, except where it isn't, right? Because everything has two sides. I got a French coin, by the way, just so. And on the other side of this, there's a lot of bad people. We don't know how many. I've heard estimates from like, you know, three to like five million. <laughs> Nobody actually knows. And those people look at the same stuff we use to get happiness and see uh, an opportunity. And they go, aha, okay, we can make some money here or make some people nervous. And we help them do it, why? Because, for example, I'll give an example of a security hole. People buy uh, cheap security cameras, usually from China, like me, and then they put them at their home and they film their cat or their car or their neighbor. And then they look in their, in their smartphone when they're at work and they're really happy. And hackers are also happy because they can see it over the internet, right? So we have things that really shouldn't be on the internet, but they're connected. There's a factory in Germany, a lot of laundromats in France for some reason. Oh, I love this. I don't know why, you have to tell me about it later. And, and a spa in Toulouse. <laughs> Who would put, uh, that's really creepy by the way. And the bad guys look at this stuff. There's, there's over a million connected cameras in the internet. There's a website. I put it up in the front yesterday if somebody saw. Nobody actually changed it. And people use it to attack. And I know it because I live in Israel. And we get attacked quite a lot. And the Israeli electric grid is attacked like 10 times more than the other places around the world. And if you listen to the news uh, yesterday and today, you know there's a major cyber attack going on around the world, and I'll talk about it later. It has really nothing to do with us. You know, I didn't, it's not a promotion. <laughs> so a few years ago, we were sitting like uh, a few industry professionals. Uh, sitting and drinking, which is what we do, and we kind of got into this drunken talk about if we could do this, and we can hack that, and nobody knows it, uh, and we are the best in the world and whatever. And you know those ideas you get when you're drunk? So we said, we're gonna show the people that we're better hackers than the people in our country, and we decided uh, to actually prove it, and attack. And we went and attacked the hospital, which, that's not the actual hospital. That's really nice uh, picture. No hospital is this clean. I can't show you the actual hospital. <laughs> and we just walked into the hospital and started looking around stuff. And you see, you know, you see all this, you know, a computer and some other stuff. And hackers look around. We were just walking in. And it's like, wow, there's so much stuff we can do here. There's air conditioning, and there's lights, and there's other stuff that we don't know, but we're sure we can get. And it, we were really happy. For us, it was great. So we actually got permission to attack the hospital from the hospital manager. It's a big hospital in Israel, a few 7,000 doctors or something. And only three people knew that uh, we were going in. And how did we do it? Basically, we just went into the hospital. For example, one team, uh, we just went into a conference room. We got the computers out, connected to the network, and started copying everything and cracking the passwords and doing everything. And half an hour later, uh, a nurse walks in. Again, not an actual nurse. <laughs> I wish, but no. But, and she asked us, what are you doing here? And we said we have a presentation in you know, half an hour, an hour. I don't know what we came up with. And uh, she turned on the air conditioning for us, and she offered to make us coffee. 
No, no judging, by the way, because nurses are supposed to help people, right? She was very helpful. <laughs> so what did we actually find? Um, well, you'd be surprised, but even hospitals use the same password as like a third of humanity. <laughs> so it was very uh, disappointing to find that we wouldn't have as much work as we thought or as much fun. But we did manage to get some stuff done. So we got the Wi-Fi passwords, uh, the labs, patient records. We copied half the hard drives. Um, we got, if you can see the Chinese thing in the bottom, is uh, um, a card copier, like the cards you have for your rooms. By the way, those cards open other stuff around the hotel, I checked. <laughs> Not just your room. It's, we can make it into a game. I have photos of, but you know, not for general share. So the Chinese thing is a card copier that we got from AliExpress. It cost $19 because we couldn't get the cheap one. It was like, we thought, you know, get the expensive one. And we copied ID cards. And this thing, weird thing on the right is an iPad charger that we built. And we put a small Linux computer inside and we left it in a hospital, and then we could just sit at home, we didn't even have to go there, and we could crack the hospital systems. It's, uh, it's better for the ecology, I guess. <laughs> We're really particular about that. So, and it's really surprising how easy it is um, to do all this stuff. And uh, I'm sure in France, uh, you know that it's easy, right? <laughs> Even though they did, after they got hacked, they did a really good job. So uh, about the attack, there's right about over 90, uh, in the last 48 hours, over 90 countries have been attacked by criminals. It's not really, nothing major has happened. They lost 75,000 computers so far. It's going to grow. Nobody died. But 16 hospitals, I swear, I, you can't make this up. 16 hospitals in England had to be shut down and all the patients, all the surgery moved to somewhere else. So even though you, know, you can still do surgery without computers, they have nothing. And um, for the past four years, that's what we've been doing on and off. We're all volunteers, nobody's getting paid, nobody's getting famous. We, we spend one day a month doing this stuff. Uh, we attack. Most of the times we get permission, sometimes it's after the attack, not always <laughs> before. Uh, we, we do stay and help fix. Even in a hospital, we stayed for a week and we fixed everything that we found. And we go to other hospitals and we explain it and we teach them to do the same thing and we go to other places. So we do, we're sort of, sort of like criminals on demand. And also, it's the most fun you can have as a hacker without going to jail. So that's also important. And I know what you're thinking. You have a question in your head. It's like, if you guys are so good, what can we do? It's a great question, because I have a slide. And the first thing you should do is just get like, updated on everything, especially on Windows, by the way. Uh, so you have to get updated, you have to get antivirus, vaccinate your computer and your device as much as you can. The attack yesterday could have been stopped if they, if they patched it in the last six weeks. Six weeks, they, they knew the attack was coming. The second thing, don't download and install stuff, don't click on stuff that somebody that you don't know, you'd be surprised how much shit you get and you click on it and then it's all over. And the last thing is please don't use the same password for your bank account, I know it sounds silly, and the hospital account, and anything else, and your robot, or whatever. Don't. OK, so last thought is that 100 years ago, or more than 100 years ago, when the first cars came out, um, they were considered so dangerous, the technology was so dangerous, that in some parts of the world, there had to be a person walking in front of it with a flag really slow and shouting so people will not be, I don't know, run over or something, which defeats the purpose of a car, right? But today, we, we can't imagine our lives without this type of technology. 
So it's the same for uh, digital. That's all I had to say. I don't know. It's not as funny as I say it out loud now. <laughs> uh, if you want more information, then get me a, buy me a drink in the evening and ask me questions. <laughs> or JFGI. Everybody knows what JFGI is, right? Just fucking Google it. <laughs>